Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make a shop in Minecraft. So, we've got ourselves some land, I'm just giving ourselves some nice bit of flat land. And, not forgetting you can use whatever materials you want, but just to copy this design, I'm going to go and get some block quartz, and some block quartz pillar. And then we need to go to glass, and I'm going to go for let's go for pale, light blue stained glass. I'll go for that, and then we want some steps. We want to go for some quartz steps. Okay, so let's start this off. Let's go to the quartz pillar and place one. Place one, two, three, four quartz pillar. Then you want to come back down and you want to go one, two, three, and then on the fourth one, place one, two, three, four. Right, and then go over to your glass and fill in three high. Just like so, three high. That's good. So then we're going to have one, two, let's put them down. So put steps, steps, pillar, and then we're going to go one, two, three, and on the fourth one, pillar, one, two, three. And let's bring this one up three more. Oh. One, two, three. And bring that down. So let's get our glass and we're going to fill this three high. And not forgetting, if you want to make this a bit bigger, you can just double up on the uh, glass or. So there we go. So that's. That's that done. So you go back to your pillar, and you want your pillar to go in at a slant so the pattern stays on the other side, like that. So you're going to ignore that. So, oh, right, so. Now everyone got that? Just take a little step back so everyone can see. That's what we've got so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the right side of the building now. And we're going to put glass down and we're going to go one, two, three, then go to pillar and go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then glass, one, two, three, and then pillar, one, two, three. And then what you want to do is you want to build this up by two more layers. So we're going glass, 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 glass. And then these pillars go up by four. Or do they? Hold on. Yeah, go up by four. And then on this side, we want to put a pillar all the way across and let it meet up at the side there. And then what we want to do is we want to copy the front at the back, but instead of stairs, we're going to make that another window. Unless you want the back, uh, back doors to go out. So we're going to go one, two, three. And we can make this glass 
plus 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 and ten up. Okay, that ten up. Maybe I got it one. in total and fill these glass up by an extra two levels. Lovely. And then we're gonna put our pillar quartz and this is good at the side of the front. Like so. So there we go, and then we just got one more side to do. So again, we want to copy what's on that side. So simply enough, as you can see, there's two. We go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and again, build all them up. And there we go, that is that part of the shop done. So then what we do, we are going to work on the inside. Oh. Okay, so we're going to work on the inside, so we're going to take away oh. Take away one layer, and when it's underneath the glass, take away the one that's underneath the glass. Like so. It's probably just quicker to do it like that. Okay, so that's that done, and then let's just take all this away. Okay, let's just get the old bits that I lock up. Okay, and then we're going to go to our block quartz, and our block quartz is going to go underneath where we've just taken a thing to the glass. Like so. And then we are going to fill up the rest of the shop.
Right, and as we all know, every shop, every shop we go to these days now, they all have automatic doors. So let's whack some automatic doors in here as well. So what we're going to do, actually, is we place the load away, put those down, and put some of those down. Right, so what we're going to do is if we take away all this, if we get some sticky pistons, sticky pistons, get the glass that we've done the shop with, which is light blue ste uh, stained glass, um, and then if we go and get some redstone and some redstone block, uh, sorry, not block, redstone powder. And then we just need the block that you've done whatever the floor, whatever you've done the floor in. So obviously we've done ours in block of quartz. So okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these sticky pistons here and here, so just beside the pillar. And we're going to do the same here and here. So they're both facing inwards. And then we get our glass, and we're going to go one, two. Three, four, and then just up here, we're gonna just fill that in. Okay, so that's that. So then we're going to right. We're digging two down, so one, two, and what we need to do is just clear. The whole area just going down to under the piston so there just so we can see what we're doing and the same here just two layers two blocks down and that should be ample okay so what we're going to do actually put those away for a second And we're gonna right, so we're gonna put some we're gonna make it into a four like that. And actually we could possibly make that into a six like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this over twice, one, two. And we're gonna bring this over twice, one, two. So that's that. So we've got that block away and put a redstone torch there. Now you're gonna knock that block away and put a redstone torch there. So then come up and then get the block that you lay the floor with and put that there. And then put some red bone dust at the top. And then do the same here. Like so, and as you can see, they're both closed off now. So now you get your quartz again, and just fill in one. Oh, auto save. Just fill in one um, to the top level of where we dug out. So let's say we're going to do that, like so. So now, if we go and get some pressure pads, which are, where are they? They are in here, let's get some wooden ones. And let's place them down there and there. Do I stand on them? They open. And we'll put two there. So now when we walk up to the door, the doors open and the doors close. Just go and get some quartz, coloured quartz. And let's just finish this off up here. So again, just make sure the stripes continue. Do it from this angle. And then that's done. 
So what we need to do next, we need to do the ceiling. So to do the ceiling, we're going to clear that. And we're going to go to the wall. So with the wall, again, choose any colours you want, but I'm going to go orange, green, and blue. So what we're going to do to start off with is go for the orange. So we're going to put one layer of orange down on this top layer. So let's just do that. All the way down to every corner. And there we go, back around the front. And that's what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is add another orange to the front of that all the way around again. Go all the way around. One more side. Okay, so that's the orange done. Then we go to the green, and just on this outside layer, we put a layer of green all the way around. That's the green, and then your last colour is then your blue. So let's go around and do the blue. And there we go, that is that bit done. Right, let's get rid of all of that and let's go back to our pillar of quartz. Let's have our pillar of quartz. And what we're going to do is this post here, you need to follow this post. So we're going to go up, oh, we're going to go up, and we're going to take that away, that away, and that away. And then in there, we're going to put our pillar of quartz, and now we want to turn. And turn to the side, and you're doing the three that we've taken out plus one top one, and then they go across two one, two, and then three, and then we're taking out oh, we're taking out one, two, and we're gonna go down a bit. We're taking that one out. Let's get that angle of that way. There we go. And we're taking that and taking that. So now we've got ourselves a square. And what I then suggest to do is we take that blue out and that green out. Go back to your wall. And go back to one of the colours, let's say orange. And we'll put orange and orange. So if we come out now, now have ourselves a little supermarket. And then to make your supermarket, you can go in and get some bookshelves. You can put some bookshelves to be the uh, shelves for the shop and then maybe on the wall go a few higher and then back down to one again like so and then obviously it depends how you want to lay your shop out but you can have like a, a little aisle way for people to go down to the walk into the shop. And they have to go this way. So they have to come up here. 
through here, if you put something through here, you have to go through here, and then what you could do is like in this area, if we clear this down, you could fill up some treasure chests, and then put some treasure chests down for certain things, a bit of big treasure chest, the small ones, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's do a little counter area. So if we just clear this down, <coughs> we're going to get some uh, quartz uh, uh, stone. We're going to get some quartz slab. We're going to get some purple stairs. And we're going to get some quartz stairs. And then if we go and get a sign. Okay, so what we're going to do here is one, two, three, four. We could start it there. So if we put a quartz block down there, actually, no, if we put a quartz slab on the top half, quartz stone. Port slab, port slab, port slab. Get your purple set of stairs, and you can just pop it there. And then at the front, if you go and get your sign, pop it on. And we're making out it's a teal. So to make out it's a teal, get your currency. Obviously, mine is British pounds and there we go got one till and there's that little shop Let's just quickly put a roof on it so if we just go slab and we can go slab from there and we're just gonna fit oh going to fill all that in. And I'm going to show you one of two options. A lot of people don't like to use glass, but I like to use glass on roofs because obviously it helps when it's daylight, it lightens up the shop or the house or whatever it is that you're building. So you can do it like this with the slab, but do bear in mind the glass blocks that we've put in in the windows, we can also use them as well. Let's just finish this off here. There we go. Go back down to the front. And there we have it. <coughs> One supermarket. Oh, let's have a little look there. What a lovely shop. Oh, they've got a special on. That's home. Bob down the road and selling. Oh, yeah. Got loads of shop bits, we don't need that. Have a little look. Oh, I'm picking these, must have sold out. Must be really good. Go to the till. Thank you very much, Pay. Thank you. And let's go. So there you have it, folks. I hope that's helped. And then, obviously, if you want to do little decorations, just very quickly to give you some very quick ideas. If you go and get some uh, fence, any old, um, any uh, wood fence, you get some fence, and if you get a sea lantern, and let's get a couple of blue banners, 
Okay, so then what you can do is you can put your prints there and there and there. So you've got three coming out. Get your torch, your um, sea lantern, and just pop that under. Under there. And do the same down here on the green. There we go. And then if you get your banners, you can just wherever you want to put them so you can have them hang them off here and they could be like little advertising banners so there we have it I hope that's been helpful guys one shot looks rather lovely oh one's out the way Well, you get the basic gist of it if you wanted to change your windows, if you wanted it all glass all the way around, that would work. And there you have it. Lighting and have, what have you is down to you. As I say, you either use glass roof or you can put some holes in there and put some sea lanterns in or what have you. I hope that helps, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.